Hi, this is Peter Morgan from the DJPodcast.com. In this video in our How to DJ with Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2 series, we're going to be talking about loops. Okay, let's take a look at the quickest way to start looping your track. Underneath the waveform stripe, you have a box with a whole bunch of different numbers. And if you go to the left, they go to 132nd, and if you go to the right, they go to 32. You can simply click on one of these numbers and it will instantly create a loop of that length. So if we click two, you can see we now have a two beat loop. If we click four, it's a four beat loop. You can also change the size of the loop with your MIDI controller if you have the size applied to a rotary encoder. So if you want, you can make the loop smaller or larger simply by turning the knob on your MIDI controller. You can see that the loop area is highlighted here in green and also has the green triangles on the bottom of the waveform. You can see that the waveform stripe also has those green triangle indicators. So let's say that we're playing our track and we want to create a loop. You can hit the in button here and that will start the loop. And when you're ready to finish the loop area, you can simply click out. You can see now that we have this area highlighted in green and our track is going to loop in that area. To stop looping, you can click the active button here or on this number icon here. Tractor Pro 2 allows you to go farther than just looping your tracks. You can actually edit the loop on the fly. By having the advanced panel open, go to the move tab. You'll see in this drop down menu here we have three items, loop, loop in, and loop out. Let's start by looking at loop. When you have loop selected, you can move the entire loop's position by the number of beats that you have selected in this number row here. You can then use the buttons here to move the loop to the left or to the right. You can also change the loop in position by going to loop in and moving that to the left or to the right. And finally, you can edit the loop out position by going to loop out and moving it to the right or to the left, creating larger or smaller loops. You can save loops to a hot cue spot, just like you would any other type of cue point. To do this, simply click on an empty hot cue point, and you'll see that now we've added this to our hot cues. There's little flag indicators on the waveform stripe, and the hot cue is colored green. You can also go ahead and label this something like emergency track ending loop or funky breakdown. Okay, so this has been a quick overview of how you can use loops inside of Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. Stay tuned for more videos in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.